Hello! So it is the day before Downer Festival and this is the day of getting stuff done. So this morning, real first thing, me and Josie went into town and we got some bits and bobs. Like, I need to get some cycle shorts to wear underneath things and some batteries. Or just some little, just like little bits and bobs that I was like, oh no, I need to get some of that. We got, we went there, we got prep, we listened to download playlists in the car, then Sevenfold, Ozzy, you know, all the people that are playing. And that was super good. I've come home, Josie's just gone to work, and I've so much to do. I'm kind of stressing a little bit. Um, I need to fine tune my outfits, I need to finish packing, I need to tidy the house. I'm getting, Kirsty's coming over to do my hair in a bit, and then I go for a spray tan. I need to film a video, and edit it, and I'm just like, oh my god, where is the time going? So I think I'm gonna do a little bit of like sorting and organising. Um, I've got, I've just got into the world of podcasts. Um, thanks to Jose, last week we were listed to some, just sat on the sofa, and I find them really, really calming. And like, it's just something about listening to someone talking. It's just nice, isn't it? It's like with like when you listen to like audio books. But yeah, I've really got into podcast so um there's this one that i want to listen to um from the telegraph it's got the telegraph's alice vincent talking to a bunch of different artists like there's will i am there's lily allen and it's just basically talking about like the importance of words and like songwriting but the importance of like the lyrics behind the song language and what words are selected and stuff is so important in terms of like getting information across and just basically telling a story. I find that super interesting as well, just cause like I'm in a band, I'm in a band, I'm in a band. And I obviously I do, well most, I'd say 90% of the lyric writing. And sometimes it can be a bit of a struggle to know what to say um, and like know exactly like how to say it. I prefer personally like telling a story or portraying like a feeling or a time in life being selective in in like what words you use and how to deliver that is super important and interesting so i'm going to listen to that whilst i'm trying to de-stress just to get some inspiration etc so that's pretty good the telegraph are actually also giving away two biffy clyro tickets for it in this competition so i'm going to put the details for that down below in the description a little cheeky competition there so that's what i'm going to do I've just, I'm just wearing outfit, one of my outfit ideas, walk around the house in it, and I'm also trying to break in my new converse. That's that, that's what I'm gonna do, Let's crack on. your process with writing that song was it an idea that you've been working on anyway it was I mean it was a chance to any chance to work with Kim Harpoon is brilliant and I was in LA and now he lives there um, and he was just super keen for me to work with this um, girl Sarah who has written um, that Zed and Alicia Cara song stay done a little bit of tidying upstairs Kirsty's here I'm gonna do some hair stuff Wow I've got my gown on I'm very excited we're gonna just um, I've got a little green tint in my hair. It's got a bit of an overtone going on. Yeah, just from one of the toners that I used. Left a little bit of a green residue. So, she gonna get it out. Then we're gonna put in the hair. Do you want to see the hair? You need to open your little parcel. <gasps> We've got hair. This is Great Lengths hair. And they're tapings. It's gonna go in. It's gonna be, this is, uh, 45 cm it is. 45. We're going to give it a little trim. But she's got toners as well. Is it? Yeah, there, there. Not on the hair. On the hair. Oh, cute. You're wearing branded hair. And I even put my Pammy Anderson on for you today, Anderson. What? Put my Pamela Anderson oh, on. Oh, Pamela Anderson. Anderson for an Anderson. But yeah, it's going to go in. It's going to only like, it last like eight weeks. Yeah, it can last up to eight weeks. You can reuse them, retake them. Like you can re stick yeah. them. So it's yours forever. Forever. And even when you get to a point where you don't want them long, you just want to thicken your bob out. Yeah, just trim them. Yeah, but it's real hair, 100%. percent wanted it for download, and just because this, like, the next few 
weeks are quite exciting. I've got a lot of cool things going on, so I just fancied a little bit of a... I want, like, rocker, messy biker rocker chick that sounds so corny hair. We're going to have a little crash course and styling as well, then. Yeah? Yeah. Just, like... Easy. Tousled. And I'll put them in in a way that if you want to do, like, buns or cool festival stuff, yeah. you, you can split it in the middle without seeing the... Yeah, that'd be good, because I always push it forward anyway. Yeah. So we've what done the magic stuff to my hair, which was getting the green out, and we've just washed yep. it. And now, going to blow dry it. I've got my makeup down my face because I rinsed it over the bar. <laughs> it just goes to show how much that had dulled. Yeah. Look, if you, basically, look, you can see when I lay it down, it's a lot, it's lighter to see that top bit. Yeah. But... That's where it's more porous, that would have just really grabbed that tone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But much brighter. And ashier still. Yeah. No. done I'm so happy with it I am now like a rack chick that was the idea I wanted to be like I wanted to be like an 80s fluffy haired rock chick I'm so loving it oh my god I've missed long hair <laughs> Kirstie's gone bless her really cute right so I've got news we have decided that we're gonna go download not tomorrow now we're gonna go up on Thursday two reasons um Danny's really unwell. She went to the doctor this morning because she was woke up feeling super bad, like fluey, sick, not great. Um, she said she's starting to feel a little bit better today. But I said, and then I, I've just, I'm just overwhelmed with stuff to do. Like I've got actually so much stuff that I need to do. And also next week has now become like super chocker block busy. So I need to also kind of prepare for next week now. And I was like, oh, I could do an extra day. But we were just, uh, you know what? Let's just go up first day. It's, we're not gonna miss out, we're not gonna miss out any music. We, we always like to have an extra day for partying, but you know what, we can, we can cope. So that's what's happening. Um, but we'll go up super early Thursday. I'm gonna order a pizza because I'm, I'm feeling happy. I'm gonna order a pizza, I'm gonna listen to some music and do some tidying. Pizza, pizza's arrived. I've got some Biffy Clyro. Listen to Biffy Cairo. Definitely check out that competition to see them because they are amazing live. I've seen them before, it was incredible. So I'm gonna eat my pizza, get some fuel in, and then continue with my chores. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. done I've just taken my makeup off and put my pajamas on but I'll just show you I finished nice clean kitchen dishwashers on all the stuff has gone from here this was just full of like food and drink stuff that we were taking no longer a pile of stuff here then in the hallway we have all our camping gear which is just down here and I got a trolley just there for the bell tent because last year that was so heavy and it took us ages to carry it. Like this is so, so heavy. Even between three of us, it was so hard. I got my camping chairs though, food and everything over there. Amazing. And then to run upstairs. So I haven't finished actually packing my clothes. I'll do that in the morning. Now I have a whole day to get stuff finished. So I'm going to do that and also film my Primark video that I wanted to do. So that, that won't take me long, it'll be like half an hour max, absolute max. I don't know, it won't take me long to sort this out. <laughs> and then my room, I mean, I've just taken these off now, but 
My room is tidy, it's not got stuff on it anymore. Hooray! Oh hey, hey, hey. So I'm gonna just sit and chill for now and probably listen to some music and um, some sleep. I'm so relieved in a way that we are going a day later. I mean, it's always been tradition for us to go up on a Wednesday, but I think circumstances, you know, my friend's not well. My other friend actually has really got loads of work to do as well. I had just a stressful day in a way, like try to get stuff done. So it's okay, it's not the end of the world, just missing on one day. But if, if it means that we're all gonna be stress-free, then amazing. So really looking forward to it. So tomorrow I'll continue to pack and just have a good productive day. Looking forward to it. Mm -hmm.